Hello friends, this video on fiber and fabric part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we start with shearing. So shearing is the process of removal of the woolly covering along with a thin layer of skin. Now this is important. You might think that okay, so if that woolly layer is being removed from the body of the sheep, then that means that it must be hurting the animal. The animal must be feeling pain but actually the process is painless because the upper layer of skin in fact an extremely thin layer of skin is taken out and that thin layer is basically the dead skin layer. Now have you ever seen that when uh, sometimes what happens is you get cut, uh, you get some uh, wound so gradually your wound heals and that layer of skin becomes dead skin and it just gets removed from your body so once that skin becomes dead so does it pain when it gets removed from your body it doesn't so in a similar way for sheep the uppermost layer of skin is a dead skin so when that skin layer is being removed it doesn't pain it, it is something like uh, when when a person shaves, he doesn't feel any pain. Why? That's because when he shaves, it, it, he is only being in contact with the uppermost layer of his skin and therefore it doesn't pain. And also for a ship, once the uh, woolly covering has been removed, again it is a natural process that the hair will start growing again. Now, another important thing is why the ship doesn't feel this pain. Now have you ever wondered that if somebody pulls your hair, do you feel the pain? Yes, you do. But if somebody cuts your hair, do you feel the pain? Not really, right? So during shaving, you do not feel pain. But when somebody is cutting your hair, then also you do not feel pain. But when somebody is pulling your hair, then you are feeling the pain. Why? Because whatever you are feeling, the feel of pain is due to your brain. Because your brain is actually uh, telling you that okay, something is paining in your body. Now here, they don't have any nerves. So that's why when somebody is cutting your hair, see hair doesn't have any nerves. So there is nobody to send that information to the brain. And that is why you do not feel the pain. But when somebody is pulling your hair, what's happening is your hair at their roots they are connected to the hair follicles and these hair follicles are attached to the nerve ending so they are attached to the nerves so when somebody is pulling it the follicle is also pulled and the nerves are also informed and once the nerves are informed they will send the information to the brain and you will be able to feel the pain so it, the similar concept applies for sheep as well because for them also the hair they do not have any nerves so they will not send any messages to the brain so you will not the sheep will not feel any pain and moreover the topmost layer of skin is a dead skin so removing that also will not cause any pain you know, the important thing is that this process of shearing is done during summers that's because why, why do these sheep have this woolly covering? Because the woolly covering provides them warmth. It helps them to survive in cold places. Now when you are removing that layer, so it is quite obvious that after removal the animal will feel cold because its jacket is gone, its sweater is gone. So therefore this process is done in during summer so that they can survive even without the woolly covering and again by the time winter comes they will be able to have more hairs on their body because hairs will naturally grow on their body. So again by the time it is winter they will have grow, proper growth of hair and they will be able to survive in cold climate. So this is the process of shearing. Now the next process is scouring. So in sc now you have already taken the wool or the topmost layer of skin along with the wool, hair or wool out from the animal's body. Now what do you do? So the first thing that needs to be done is it needs to be washed because it might have a lot of dirt, it might have a lot of um, germs. So washing is the first thing that needs to be done. So washing sheared skin with hair so the skin along with the hair that entire thing needs to be washed now this washing uh, can be done manually also like how these two guys are doing it so that is one way of doing it manually where you take a big container and you put all the um, skin the sheared skin inside that and then you just clean it manually that's one thing 
it can also be done by using machines like how it is being done here as you can see now these machines will do this entire job of washing now wherever it, it has to be done on a large scale so manually cleaning it is a tedious task you need more people you need more time to do it so that is why it has been automated using machines so in big factories you have machines which can do this job of scouring so this process removes all the dirt dust and grease from the wool the third step is sorting now after this the hair of different types and textures are sorted out are separated now as i said now even though we are taking it out from uh, the animal's body but again that animal also might have some different types of hairs or maybe you will just not do it like this that okay for one particular animal you will first shear it and then you will scour it now when you do the process of scouring you are actually doing it on a large scale you are actually cleaning a lot of huge amount of wool which is obtained from many different animals so at this stage you actually start separating the um, wool based on their type and texture so whichever is fine wool they are all put together whichever is coarse wool they are all put together so that means they are all separated depending upon their texture and their types so as you can see in the picture this is how uh, the the scene looks like inside a factory where wool is being scoured and sorted out so here you see they have been separated on different tables so so that i mean you can distinguish which one is which type of wool because depending upon their type they are being used for different purposes thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again